Hello, my name is Norman Hussain and I'm the software manager at Pickering Interfaces. This video will demonstrate on how to operate Pickering PXR switch card in LabVIEW. Before we start our demonstration, I would like to mention that Pickering provides open software development interfaces. This allows the freedom to create different test scenarios using wide range of development environments such as C, C++, Visual Basic, c .net, Python, Lab Windows and CVI, and LabVIEW. At the moment, I have a general purpose relay module model number 40-131-201 in a PXI chassis that is attached to my PC. Firstly, we will go to the Pickering website at pickeringtest.com, navigate to the software download area, download and install the latest Pickering PXI driver. Pickering provides signed drivers which, as you can see, results in seamless installation process. You can also install the drivers from the DVD we provide with the product. Once the driver is installed, it will recognize the switch card and enable the user to operate it using our general software and panel. The driver installs LabVIEW wrappers which can be found under the LabVIEW Instralib folder. As you can see, the driver has installed two different types of packages, PIPX40 which is our plug and play driver and pipx which is our direct I.O. kernel driver. The driver installs Pickering LabVIEW wrappers for both 32 and 64-bit versions depending on what version is installed on your PC. Let's open an instance of LabVIEW and look at our Pickering LabVIEW wrappers. These wrappers are now part of the palette and can be found under Instrument I.O. tab in Instrument Driver Palette. Let's create a simple example program using our VXI plug and play driver. In this program, I will initialize the card, then read its ID using getCardID function. Operate a relay on the card using set channel state function and then finally close the card. Let's join the functions together and define their input and output parameters. Make sure you put the correct address of the card. Our program is now complete. Now let's execute the program. I will highlight the execution so you can see the flow of the code. As you can see, using LabVIEW to operate our search and simulation products is a very simple process. We also provide documentation with our drivers and a number of example programs to help you develop the test routines with ease. Thank you for watching. For more examples on how to operate different Pickering switch cards, please refer to the link below.